All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode 28 of John and Eric's Epic Adventures Through Skyrim. So we are here outside of Shores Stone. Um, we just went and finished Tovald's Cave and got totally ripped to shreds by the uh, Falmer. It's currently close to 11 o'clock at night. Um, I went back in and I actually got a bunch of other resources that we had missed in there. So one of the bigger ones that I discovered, right, is that there, there are a few um, lessons of Vivek that we didn't get. Apparently the entire Real Baron Zaya series, all five books, was in there. So I just completely missed them. They were kind of scattered. So I grabbed those, pretty happy. But the biggest thing that we missed was apparently there was an ebony mace just laying on the ground worth 2,600 gold that we had completely missed. And it was kind of like in a back corner and okay, great, right? And I harvested a couple other missing ingredients and stuff. So originally the plan was to fight or take out Fort Greenwall on the way to Riften, but my carrying capacity right now, we're at, uh, you, and you can see right here, it's 700, like 775 out of 300. So we're, we just need to travel straight to Riften. Like we need to sell some of the stuff we're gonna use the mail carrier service to get a bunch of stuff home. And let's just start by sleeping. So we'll do, we'll leave right at 7 a.m. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be raining. Oh, we got a speech progression and it looks like it's still raining. Okay, we'll, stop. we'll sleep one more hour. And it's still raining. Okay, so we'll pack this up. Um, it's 8 a.m., which means we should probably be able to sell to the smith. Can we reach him through there? No, that's okay. While we're traveling to Riften, because this should only be like a two minute journey, um, we already know that this keep has bandits because they, they warned us about it. So we're just gonna sprint right through. We're not even going to engage them in combat. We're just going to travel through. We're going to use the cover of the rain to to kind of hide ourselves. So we can still discover it, but... Nope. Nope. Here. Nope. Oh my god, are they bandits too? <laughs> so we just run them right over like, nope. Anyway. When we get into Riften, we are so close to level 30 that we should probably find a trainer. And there's a lot of trainers down in the mid, the rat way. I don't know if we have access to those trainers without being a member of the Thieves Guild. And we're not joining the Thieves Guild, right? We're honorable Nords. That is not what we're going to be doing. And so this kind of creates a problem where I'm pretty sure the only two trainers there, like, and this is kind of metagaming, is that, hey, look, one more rain. The two trainers are the one for light armor and then the smith. And we're not gonna do the smith, right? Because we, like, we're doing that ourselves. That'll be really overpriced. So I guess we're gonna get some light armor training. But so many refuse to talk well. to us. Take a look. Hey, yeah, what do you got? What do you got? Anything we can break down? Any, any like real garbage gear that we could just learn the uh, enchantments for? I'm liking these. So because we're looking for some kind of garbage gear and these are worth like five hundred gold each that we can just break down to learn the enchantments for. So we already know for that. You can see it uh, right in the, the center there. So yeah, let's just buy these, right? We'll take your garbage to learn the enchantments. Um, this too, right? We don't have, know this enchantment. Perfect. Uh, we know that one. That's kind of expensive. Well, eh. All right. They have 2,000 gold. Can we just sell like one of our staffs here? Um, we have this random bow that we'll sell. We'll sell this. We're not really trying to min-max here right now, so. And uh, we can probably break those down to sell that inside, good lord. Wait a second, am I wearing my necklace of Dubella? Yes. The war and the report. There is my take a look. So what else can we just kinda of sell here? Um random dwarven shield, sure. And then 
God, we have so many poisons and stuff we have to get rid of. So these really long, lingering poisons are really good because you can use them to fight dragons and stuff. We'll put that back on the horse. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's... I want to start by breaking down like all the really expensive things, and then these are all too expensive to sell right now, so... Uh, probably sell this. Alteration spells cost less. Because mm, we'll just break down some robes, right? Is there anything else we can buy that will give them some more gold here? For tent. Moonstone's kind of a massive pain in the ass to get your hands on. So we're actually going to buy these. Um, I haven't seen much of it sold. So that should allow us to sell something else. I don't know. What's what's really valuable that we're trying to get rid of here for, like, gold? Um, yeah, we'll just sell this thing, right? We'll miss, you know, like, 150 gold, but whatever. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Have more gold next time. All right. Um... You know, we're looking for new horse armor, too. So, who do we talk to here? Doesn't he normally hang outside? He's not. I don't have the patience to deal with that right now. Hold there. Ah. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's tax for? The privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? So we can pay 300 gold. Let's see if we can intimidate him. Normally you can't do that, it's a much higher level. You're obviously a thief and I kill thieves. All right, calm down. No need for that. I'll let you in right away. Just need to get the gate unlocked. Welcome to Riften. <laughs> the gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Well, thank you, sir. We shall go inside. Have a fabulous time selling all of our uh, really heavy crap. And well, most of it gets mailed back, honestly. Carrying like 50 pounds of random Charis eggs that are hopefully not going to hatch in my inventory, right? All right, we'll use Ottawa. Ooh. I had another run in with a thief skin. This place is looking pretty. F Be careful. Well, okay, it's, it's not fancy, but it's certainly high res. I like it. One snap of her fingers. I don't know you. In you and Riften looking for trouble? I'm always looking for trouble. Um, just passing yeah. through. Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. I know. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Who are the Black Briars? The Black Briars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy, but it'll cost you. Hmm. Um, should we intimidate him? Or we could just pay him. How about you how about you tell me for free? Alright, alright. Let's not get too hasty now. <laughs> so what do you want to know? Um, nothing really. Um I guess we could ask him about the Dark Brotherhood. Why not? The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. That's interesting. Um, tell us about the Thieves Guild you too, can, like... My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you mm. want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Because we kill thieves, so, all right. Be seeing you around. So we'll, we'll waddle in, right? I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time for double the usual thing. I know I do. But how was I to know the shipment would get locked? Next time, keep your plans quiet, and nothing would have happened to you. So we're we're listening, but you know we have stuff to do. Look, last morning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Every 
You should try the venison. Sure. There you have some gold. All right. Divines bless your kind. Let's see. Um. What do you got? What did you need? I'll take an elixir, thank you. Anything else? No. Until next we meet, Farmer blood. Ooh. How much gold do you have? Everything I've got on display, really. Thirteen hundred. We'll take it, right? Um, because they'll buy our stuff. So we'll sell. Ooh, yeah, that's Keep your eyes hot garbage. Room. Um, let's go over to first. First, we'll get a level up, right? You gonna buy something or? I'll teach you how to uh, use it effectively training. and keep you quick on your feet. God, that's so terrible. What's what is the the price for uh, smithing training? Right, that's what we're gonna check out right now. And once we basically once we get our training, uh, at that point we'll probably skip forward to when I'm done selling everything, um, or at least I find a mailbox. The next thing is gonna find a mailbox so we can open up our. It our, just our, feels right. Oh my God! Okay, that is horrifying. Come to see Bowman to perform miracles. Uh, training and smithing. How much I is do? it? Five thousand gold per level. So, so this would be like, holy crap! It'd be like twenty-five thousand gold just to go up five levels. We could do that ourselves, right? Eh. Uh. Well, first of all, Excellent. we'll invest in your business. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Um, now, the finest weapons hopefully he'll have more gold that we can actually, like, sell our stuff to and get a better deal. Oh, like, immediately just way a better deal. Like, things are worth twice as much. So, we need the gold for those, right? Hey, there we go. Level up. Nice. Return any time. Oh, no! Left. Oh, no, we, we have to... Like, first, first we can do the training... And then we do the level up. I, like, I was panicking there for a minute. So we'll do the evasion training. Then we'll get our level up. And we'll, we probably won't do any training, like more training with her here. But at the very least, we'll be slightly better evasion. Right? Um, I'll evasion. teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. So there, at least we got, you know, some leveling for that. Although we probably could have just run around in some light armor and it would have been fine. So we'll do our level up, throw it into Magicka. Oh, level 30. And we have two perk points. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're we're at level like 98. The the actual level is uh, 73. So how much? Where's that uh Falmer blood elixir, right? Uh, the elixir has no effect. You realize you've been scammed. Consider it a learning experience. How much XP did we get for that? Um, did we, we got a full level up out of it. Nice. So that was pretty good, right? All right, what we're gonna do is we are going to skip forward to where we can find a mailbox and send a bunch of stuff home. So I'll see you. What? Whoa. What the hell's going on? Oh my god, she's a vampire. Holy crap. Holy crap. Wow, okay, well, we'll take her heart and her vampire dust. Dang. Take all that nice and quick. All right, Sk <laughs> skipping forward. All right, we're, we're on our way, and uh... Huh? What do you want? So we wanted to ask, like, what kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. Uh, tell me about it. I was able to it. work What's out up? a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack oh. and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Hmm. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Um... We can help, right? Look look how friendly Eric is. He's sitting down to console him. Oh, thank you. Be careful right. with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty. Yeah, well, don't worry. We've taken out our fair share of nasty people. So we're level 30 now. 
we're we're stronger than the guards even which is pretty cool right like before before the guards were you know so intimidating and now we're stronger than they are it's kind of crazy i don't see sapphire here which is too bad and uh so what we did is we went outside and we collected all of our alchemy ingredients that we didn't have our our 227 charms eggs so all right, we'll send a package. Um, remembering, like, I might, I don't know how much this is going to end up costing. So I'm gonna send all of the alchemy ingredients in, uh, back. A bunch of our ingots. Um, although we might just use them here, I'm not sure. So many alchemy ingredients. And we're doing this because we probably are going to end up heading back to the Mages College rather than Excuse me, to Whiterun. I mean, we could stop into Whiterun, but I also have no idea how much this one up costing. Yeah, we're sending back all those, um, I guess. Oh, we have two of those. Interesting. Um, this was on, uh, the result. It's where we were going for, um, the uh, College of Winterhold, so we'll send those back to all of those, all of these, five per plate, sure. We're gonna keep all of our gems on us for now. Um, we have all these ingots, right? And we could probably smelt them here, but the ebony we're definitely gonna send back, the gold we're definitely sending back, that we're definitely sending back, same with the silver. The rest of this, we are probably going to keep, right? Paper isn't too expensive, like, or difficult to carry. Um, and then a lot of this other stuff we're going to break down. Oh, yeah, these things we're going to use to decorate, basically. The, uh, the ebony mace, what do we do with this? I think we're going to sell it here, so we won't send it back. All right. So that's, that's everything, right? That's all of our stuff. How much is it going to be? Um, okay, we'll send to our primary mailbox. How expensive is this? 1,700 gold. Ugh. Fine. Okay, fine. We'll pay it. It's nice send the stupid the package. Stuff, huh? ah. But at least we don't have to travel for it. Right? Did it? Yeah, it, put, it pulled out all the ingredients. We still have an inventory we weight of... Quick. 778 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run around sell a bunch of the stuff that's clogging my inventory here um i'll probably do some smithing right because that's this is what's taking up our inventory is a lot of these smithing things so today i'll do a little bit of smithing and then we'll uh we'll stick some stuff on eric too just because you know things will go faster and then i'll do an update for the video so this will probably be like i don't know 20 minutes of work so so, first, the time has come. What? What? What time? Huh? Who are you? I have done all that can be done. There is nothing left. No quests to be undertaken. No villains to be slain. No challenges to face. Except for you. You are my last challenge. Only you can send me to Sovngarde with honor. Make your preparations. When you're ready, come find me at my last vigil. Okay, that seemed a little bit early, let's be honest. We're not that powerful. That is the Ebony Warrior. Hey, wait, do you have any gold? <laughs> okay, this will be pretty good. Um, God, look at his cape and shield and stuff. When next we meet, it will be at my last vigil. Sure, but... Need something? Can... Oh, <laughs> uh, we can't... We can't, um trade with him can you train us of course okay so we'd be so, <laughs> so he'd be willing to train us but oh that's funny all right moving moving back to selling stuff and blah blah all right so this will be an important milestone um we made a bunch of great swords we're about to finish sharpening them because we discovered that when you make the swords they're worth a lot of money and it's really good for like the 
uh, for gold is creating items, but then when you temper the items, it's really good for XP. But you don't make, there isn't that much uh, change in gold. So like we'd only be making like an extra 100 gold as compared to, you know, like that. So sharpening is definitely the way to go. Anyway, we are now level 75 in uh, smithing. So that means we can do ebony, ebony stuff. So that's pretty cool, right? I am gonna finish this up. And there we go, we're level se uh, 76 now, too. Water breathing is the best for Petty, because water breathing is, like, you know, basic. So, we're gonna craft this. That's a decent enchantment. But keep studying. You've only scratched <laughs> the surface. Very kind. Um... Yeah, yeah, I think we'll make this too. So, and that'll give us uh, 25 enchanting, right? So we can put some perks into that later. Uh, and then we'll do that and that. Water breathing, ow. Cool. And we, I mean, we could do the rest of these, like. How much are they worth without it? Um, this, it might just be best to do, I think turning is gonna be what we want. Wow, okay, absorb magic is actually, well, um, wait, hold on. No, it's absorb stamina, imagine that, huh? Okay, let's make a bunch of absorb stamina ones. Crap. So we just went from, what did we just do? Uh, oh, can, can you? Oh, such colors. Can she train us in enchanting? She can. Ooh, well, we don't, it's not even really worth it. Like, <sighs> we can probably sell her some stuff though. Spells and incantations. Just five thousand gold, nice. For those with the talent to cast them. Oh my goodness. Um. Why don't we sell her our staffs? Because we're gonna get the most money for those. So. <laughs> but then we need to get rid of our weight, and so selling these might be a good option. I think we're gonna have to sell some of these just to fucking get rid of them, man. We sold five of those. Good. Can't sell any of those. At least we're slightly lighter. Oh, all of the iron. We have to do all of our iron stuff. Um. I have to remember. Ward first, then summon. Okay, we're we're slightly lower in our weight. Slightly lower. Know if there's anything. Oh, uh, this would be pretty painful. Um, shipment of metal. Yeah, there we go. We're down to 400, right? And I guess we'll send all these back too. Cool. Yeah, why not? Pile it all in, right? And the rest we will sell. Primary mailbox, th another thousand septums. Ah, ah. We could probably just buy them. Like, like the raw material. No, fine, screw it, I don't care. What's a thousand gold? What can I do for you, friend? Sure thing. Here, you know what we're gonna do? Cause um, you lead, I'll follow. we're wandering over and I just noticed that uh, Sapphire's right yeah. here. So, What's your problem? Let's talk about uh, sh sh Shatter, I Shader's knew that debt. I stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. Yeah, but we're stronger than you are. All right, all right. Take it easy. No idea why you'd care about a stranger so much, but this isn't worth a fight. <laughs> Tell Shadra I'm forgetting about his debt. 
That'll teach me to try and make extra coin around this city. Yep. Oh, also, we, uh, yeah, so we hit level 31, so I can't even go and look at, uh... It just feels right. What do you want me to stats, because we have, like, now we're level 75, um, in, in speech. We are going to give Eric a bunch of stuff so that we can move. We sent back all of our ingots, because we, I didn't send back the, um, the iron ingots. But now, I should just be able to give him a bunch of these, right, theoretically. And we can move! Going. We can run! Ah. Great. So, but where do we sell them? That's the problem. I guess we can sell a few items here at the general store. You gonna store. buy something? Take a look. Um, oh my god, these are so underpriced. Like, it's a scam trying to sell them here. How much gold does she yourself. have? Not much. Um, is there any like miscellaneous crap that we can sell here? Not really. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Exotic ingredients. I'll have them all. How about uh? Yeah, this this guy's completely out of luck. No, it's, he he still has two thousand gold. What did I? I must have screwed something up. Oh, that's right. We were gonna go enchant all of the uh, the swords and stuff before we sold them. Right. We could just sell them the empty mace. Stop back anytime. Eric, give me those swords back. At first, I thought I'd miss. Poor Eric, he's trapped in here. Of course. Give me like three of them. Let's get going then. We'll wiggle back over. See how many we can sell. Hello, friend. Come on. Take a look. Uh, yeah, 800 gold each. Yeah, two, and then we... Wow, this one's more valuable. That's kind of weird. Um, is there anything else we can buy from him? Not really, man. Malachite, maybe, but... And then steals, like, 16 gold each, so I was trying to weigh that out, right? I was like, okay, we sent back 50 ingots, and there were, like... 16 gold each, so that would be essentially 750 gold, right? And it was just like, fine, we'll just send it back, right? It's like having to buy them. So, kind of sucks, but what can you do? All right, so we managed to sell a bunch of stuff. Um, we're up to 20,000 gold, right? And really the only things left are selling these staffs that are worth like 2,000 gold each, and, I and I'm not selling them for less than 2,000 gold. And then one of these swords and the ebony mace. And then pretty much, you know, we, we sold a bunch of uh, potions, right? We're down to 10 spider venom because I'm not using them enough, even though I should. But the rest of our inventory is, like, clear, right? Or reasonably clear. Um, so we're going to do a, a couple of side quests now, and then we'll end the stream. Oh, my God. Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with travelers. Mm-hmm. What, only a dagger for the son of the Jarl? If you must know, I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was sparring with fainted when I specifically told him to duck. My blade bit right into the stonework next to the keep and needed serious repairs. Thankfully, our smith, Balamond, works wonders. In fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be most appreciative. Uh, sure. Thank you. Do hurry, please. All right. Yeah, we'll head right down here. This this is one of my favorite quests, and I'll show you why. First of all, it's super quick, right? Oh, he's inside. That's right. But uh, after this, we'll probably do the uh, Helga's quest, getting the uh, marks of develop, and you'll you'll see. What Good that to is. see you. Uh, I'm here to pick up a sword. Lazy, good for nothing, isn't he? Sent you down here when I'm a stone's throw from the keep. Here's the sword. Tell Harald to stop slaying walls, and perhaps his blade will stay in better condition. <laughs> I will tell him that. Right then. Do... Oh, yeah, he, a good we, friend we can't me. trade with him right that now. Means something. No problem, bro. Thanks for buying all of our stuff. So I, I can't decide if we should do training... I think we will. I'm, like, we need to do a level up. We can't just go running around without it. 
So you gonna buy something? Or fortunately, I'll teach you how to use it effectively. That means more evasion training. On your feet. Which is kind of silly, but Make love like a saber we don't do it, right? We're not paying 5,000 gold for uh, the other training, right? And now we're halfway to 32, but we have three perks. And our, our passive speech is at 300. Um, oh, you inspire those who fight by your side. Followers deal 20% more damage, block 75% more damage, cast spells for 15% less magicka, magic and stamina are increased by 100 and regenerate 50% faster, carrying capacity is increased by 50 points. Hey, guess what, Eric? We're better at leadership, apparently. We, we leader now. <laughs> Um, eventually we'll invest in those, right? And I think the other thing we should probably throw one of these into is Ebony. And we'll look into creating... Should we look into creating Ebony weapons? Do you think Ebony would be better than Skyforge Steel? Like what we're carrying? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But, uh... Could invest in that too. The God, there are so many... It's it's funny, we go back and forth between like, oh, we don't need, you know, we don't have anything to invest in, and then suddenly it's like, no, we we desperately need more perk points. So, we might end up saving it for um, alteration. Not al is it alteration? Yeah, alteration. To uh, invest in our magic resistance. So we're going to save the perk points for now. Can stay alive? Why take a chance? Come back when you're ready to Anyway. Hey you. If this isn't about official city business. Yeah, yeah, here's your, your sweet time getting it to me. Bro, I was gone go for like 2 minutes. For your trouble. Now look what he gives. A diamond, a flawless amethyst. All right, nice. So some sometimes he'll give more, sometimes it's less, but it's always like a random set of gems, but like he gave us a diamond worth 400 gold. So, and a flawless amethyst worth like 150. So, that's pretty cool. Right? Really cool. Um, we'll do a couple of miscellaneous quests. Like, greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Yeah, do you make your own jewelry? I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxlil jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits, and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. Um, I don't want to agree to this quest until I know what he needs, and I and Save I know that one of them is gold ore. Hello, friend. Hmm. And if Flames, he has gold ore, then we'll take the quest. Pretty much anything to suit Or he needs. does not have. Gold. So we're not gonna take it now. Stop back anytime. But that's okay. Um yes, let's head to in here. And we'll take Hugo's quest and get some more speech levels. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. You work here? Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. Oh, that's probably shitty. Um. I get, yeah, it's why do you hate her so much? Work. But you don't really have to explain her. that. Like She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? We're, we're still she wearing an amulet of Debella. To see her squirm. To rub her nose in it. There must be a way. Actually, there is. But I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. 
If you confront her with three of the marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Sure, I'll help. This ought to be oh, good. This is going to be great. You need to get the marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgrier, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. Oh, I'm very persuasive. Try and so. get those marks without violence. Yeah, 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 without violence. Oh, okay. Um. So let's see. One of them. Oh, okay. One of them works in here, right? There's like a billion different quests that that we can take on in here. It's pretty funny. Um. Here, we're just gonna. Oh, was it you? I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you want? Yeah, we'll talk to you in just a minute. Um, I'm trying to get to the bottom floor quickly. There we go, okay. You look like you could use a drink. Um, what do you say to some cheap mead? You're selling cheap mead? No, no, friend. You've got it all wrong. I'm not selling cheap mead. I'm selling good mead for cheap. Black briar mead. Ah. I'll sell cases of it for half of what the inns and taverns pay through the meadery. All I need is someone to deliver it for me. If anyone saw me leave Riften, they get suspicious. What kind of delivery? I need someone to take this small keg of Blackbriar mead to Wilhelm at the Villamer Inn in Iverstead. Drop it off, and he'll trade you something for the delivery. Keep it as payment for the legwork. Oh, and if you bump into Indarin from the meadery, keep your mouth shut. He'd write us out in a second. Um, all right. Good. Now get going. Remember, keep this to yourself. All right. No, we don't care about you. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And Darren was like looking over at us talking. I'm quite busy. Need something? Or can I get back to work? Uh, first, so first we'll just harass him. You're crazy. How dare you make such an accusation? Um... Just, just hand it over, bro. It's okay. If word gets around that I betted her, they'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. Take the mark if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. Yeah, also, did you know that one of your employees is, like, stealing? Aye. Oh, I, I suspected as much, but I've never been able to catch that little sneak with proof. Here, he gave me this keg, and I'm That's sick of delivering fetching. stuff. I gave him the same keg just this morning and told him to store it in the cellars. Oh, He'll rot in prison for this one, I promise you. As soon as Maven finds out, it's all over for him. Here, take this as a bit of a reward for nabbing our little thief. Wow, what? Okay. Watch yourself out there. Some flawless gems, good lord. What's a flawless, do we get, was it a, yeah, what's a flawless sapphire worth? Like 350 gold, okay. Dang. We making bank. Like quick bank, too. Now we want to go... Angler acquaintances? Oh, we just started a quest. I could have left it. I could have put it that way. You okay? You, you must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. Lexicon? Burden? Huh? Memories. What? I cannot stand them. You must take them away. Return them to a Monchenzel. You must take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. Okay, we had... So first we had a... A crazy hat claimed by one of our community members. So, so we'll put on our crazy hat. And, um... What do you think? Should we take it? Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? You must bring it to a Bonchenzel. In the West, return it to them. It must go back. Yeah, okay. Unfathomable depths. The Who are waiting. You? The insufferable waiting. Uh, what's wrong? Here, I want you to have this. Don't ask, just take it. I won't. Bounty Juvenile Mud Crab. Okay. I have no idea what this is. 
After hanging out my sword and bow to live a quieter life, I decided to... Uh, what is this? Blah, blah, blah. I'm in search of a ju juvenile mud crab so that I might study its growth. These young mud crabs rarely leave the water, so now I need an intrepid fisherman to catch one. It can be caught in almost all lakes and streams. Please make haste. Twelve days since an adventure took up this bounty. The waiting. The insufferable waiting. Um, oh, you hired someone, but they never returned. It would seem so. Huh. Um, I don't have time right now, I'm sorry. I see. Well, should you change your mind, the contract will be available for a while. Okay. Were you just trying yes. to rob someone? Who you? have questions. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Okay. I could have um, so let's see. There's there's one particular uh, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If Argonian not, that I'm looking for. Stored away. No, it's not yes. you. Until next time. She's addicted to skooma, and I don't know where. Oh, isn't it Bully I have to talk you to? You in town, eh? Yeah, here it is. Here for the fishing, I guess. Yeah, give me your mark of Debella. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I'd never sleep with anyone besides my good wife, Drifa. Look, just, just, shh, skip. Look, it was one night, okay? <laughs> I think she slipped something in my drink. I, I haven't even been back to the bunkhouse since. Mm. Just take this damn thing. I never want to see it again. Ah, okay. Remember to give at the temple. <laughs> There's uh, you have anything for look. sale, though? He has a thousand gold. Um, and he'll buy stuff for full price. What's he have? Shit, let's, let's trade some stuff. Okay. Whoa, look at all the stuff he has. He has three salmon, too. Great. Um, I don't... We, we could... You know what? I don't think I've ever seen a flawless aquamarine. So we're going to buy this, because he's willing to buy our stuff for full price. Um, yeah, man, look at all these fish. Water breathing, sold. Mud crab chitin, sold. Nordic particles do water breathing? I didn't know that. Great, we'll just friggin' buy everything, right? Slaughterfish eggs, eh. Small pearls are kind of hard to get, so. Yeah, great, oh, damn. Trade a bunch of stuff for an ebony mace. Sure, and like, he's buying these at full price, so screw it, I say we, uh. Like, I don't know how much of a deal he's giving on everything else, right? Okay, okay it's not very good a deal, but. You know? If he's willing to buy all the other stuff, I'll trade him for fishes. <sighs> you know what? Screw it. I'm sick of running around with all this stuff. Um, We'll do like this many and then like this many. And we'll, so we'll trade him a staff basically for a bunch of ingredients. Uh, here we'll buy a little bit more. Which are rarer? Probably the eggs. And then we'll sell them um, staff up here. So there we go, right? Oh wow, look, this this staff was crafted in the uh Falmer style, right? That's interesting. Remember to give at the table oh. if you're hungry. <laughs> I could sell them back fish. to him. That's pretty Talk interesting. Truly. It just feels right. Some sure thing. And and I'm actually like more over encumbered now. That's even funnier. Is there anything else in the temple? Oh, look at a little fish tank. Okay. Spy juvenile mud crab. Can you buy them? We'll, we'll get around to fishing eventually. Now we have to go out to the stables, and we actually have to claim uh, two rewards from the stables. So. 
And then we might call that the end of the episode. I don't know. I can't remember what other quests there are around here, so I'm kind of picking them up as I go. I think they're all inside. Oh no, okay, great. Um, Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. Hold on, Until let's start with time. this guy. Um, with Sapphire. Oh, you're no longer a debt. Eight. You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Nice. Oh, goodbye then. Got horses that need shoeing, so make it quick. Yeah, give me that market to Bella, please. What are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. Uh, just, just give it. I don't want a bad reputation in Riften, but Helga's out of control. She wanted to try it in the stables, so I said yes. If nice. you want the mark that badly, then go ahead and take it. Um. Take a look. We need new horse armor. Like, do you have any? Oh, uh, Elvin. We ain't wearing no Elvin horse armor. I'd rather die. All right, then. Hello. New around Riften? Take my advice. Stay at the B and Barb. The bunkhouse isn't for you. Uh, before we offend her, what do you have for sale? Take a look. Not that much. Nice amulet of Debella, though. And, uh, these are yours, right? How? Where did you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Look. We need to keep this quiet between you and me, okay? No one else needs to know about it. If word got out that I'm practicing my Debellan arts in this day, literally wearing out of town. a necklace of Debella, and so Take am I. This and don't mention a word of this to anyone, especially Svana. Scroll of Hysteria. Nice. I don't know why I bothered. What's that? Scroll of Hysteria. Worth 500 gold. Targets of the level 40 won't fight, as they will believe they are haunted by overwhelming hordes of their worst nightmares. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Love it. All right, now we claim a reward. Reward time. We did it. Any luck getting the marks from those men? Yeah, we gave her to her. Oh, I know. Isn't it wonderful? I bet she squirmed like a skeever when you pulled them out of your pocket. I think things are going to be a lot different around here from now on. And I have you to thank for it. Here, I want you to have this. It was my father's, but I'm certain you'll put it to good use. Scaled Bracers of Eminent Archery. All right, then. Not bad. These are actually really good. Like, uh, you know, if you were uh, an archer, but... We'll probably sell them. So let's see, anything else we can do? I mean... I think what we'll do, because it's 4 p.m., is... We're most likely gonna camp outside in the tent, right? Because, well... Yeah, we need more camping XP. I'd also like to uh, get, like, some firewood and practice fire making and level that a little bit. And so I do believe the episode is going to end right here. We, uh, we went through, we're now in Riften, right? We managed to get a lot of stuff done. So in the next episode, we will run down to the docks. We'll see if we can become Thane of Riften while we're here, right? We'll try to... We'll try to become Thane of Riften in one day. That'd be hilarious. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. So have a good night.